Hi, this is Beth Quinn from NCWIT. In this video, I'll give you an overview of the key things to consider when crafting effective messages to improve the recruitment of women to your computing programs. The readings for this module, again, are the recruiting workbook um, from NCWIT. And we also have a quick read on NCWIT's um, 11 ways to design inclusive academic uh, websites. You'll find links to both of these under readings and as always you can also find these resources on NCWIT's website under resources. The focus of this section we're going to explore how to identify appropriate target audiences that is how to determine who you want to reach and then how to craft messages that speak to them. In this video I'll give you an introduction to the main themes and we'll go over a few key strategies. Identifying target audiences. To begin to think about recruiting initiatives that will work for your program, we'll start by exploring who you want to target in these initiatives. The goal is to diversify your computing program, but how do you find these prospective students? This is the typical way that people tend to think about recruiting. It's something that colleges do to get more students to come to their institutions. They do it by connecting to high schools, doing publicity in the community, and attracting transfer students. While sometimes particular programs and majors can be highlighted, the goal of the initiative is the institution itself. What we're interested in is how to recruit for your computing program, not just the institution per se. Just like an institution can do um, outreach you can for the institution you can do outreach for your program and a key way that it differs is in something that we call in reach that is recruiting students who are already at your institution who are undeclared or may be looking for a change in reach really is your low hanging fruit when it comes to recruiting um, they're already on your campus um, undeclared majors uh, might not have ever considered computing, especially if they don't match the stereotype of someone who does computing. Other students might uh, benefit from a double major or perhaps minoring in computing. So here are a few ways um, that you can reach these students through inReach. First of all, make sure that advisors understand your computing programs. Consider this. In one NCWIT study of, com of community college students, men were much more likely than women to say that they took their intro computing course because an advisor or counselor had encouraged them to take it. So let advisors know that you are looking for a more diverse student body in your computing majors and help them develop a fuller, more accurate picture of the wide variety and benefits of computing careers and who can do them. Consider lower level math courses as a recruiting opportunity. Uh, could you interest the qualified women in those courses with short, compelling uh, presentations? In all colleges, some majors have more students than others. At community colleges, for example, this is true of many nursing programs. AB Tech professor Pam Silvers has really done some great work on this. Uh, she makes the connection between nursing and computing by pointing out, out that in both fields, you can make a difference, find a job easily, get paid well, and work with both people and technology. And she uses that, those, those four kind of um, parallels between the fields in her outreach to nursing students. Um, and you can help start and all of this by making connections with faculty and, by, and advisors in those impacted programs. And lastly, but not least at all, your own introductory courses can be your best recruiting venues for inReach. Depending on your context, these courses can enroll undeclared majors, students seeking a second major, and students who might want to switch majors. These students might choose computing if they have compelling and inclusive experiences in these intro courses. What message about your program and about computing are your introductory courses sending? Find out. And of course, in today's world, computing majors are often the impacted majors on campus. 
But since your goal is diversifying your computing program, you need to practice both outreach and in reach, even if your program is the impacted one. So let's talk a little bit about messaging for diversity. So we've considered who might be likely targets of your message and how to reach them, but let's look at some ideas about what you wanna to say to them. First of all, look at what you're already communi communicating to all students and um, to the public. For example, the biggest way is often through your website, uh, but also through brochures and any other presentations or um, media that you might have. And what we consider is that take a look at that with your strategic vision of your program in mind. So let's consider the what. The first is uh, take a look at the images of people um, on your existing website, or if there are images of pe people on your existing website and any brochures. Um, are there images of people who look like the students you are trying to recruit? If they're not, um, there are great resources for finding images and, and ideas about how to do that in the recruiting workbook. Also in all of these medias, make the connection between these, this targeted student's interest and in computing. When someone can both see themselves in a role and also see that their interests are reflected in the major, increase their interest. And also avoid reinforcing old stereotypes about computing in your media and in your messaging. A really great way to kind of give, uh, to, to do all of these things is to use case studies and testimonials from diverse students and faculty and alumni. Um, especially, it's so easy to do video these days. This is a great way to do it. Make sure that you have students who look like the students you're trying to uh, increase the numbers of. Uh, make sure you don't reinforce old stereotypes and make sure that, that they're telling compelling messages about how computing is aligning with their interests. Then lastly, publicize your department's commitment to, ver to the diversity that can send a powerful message to both prospective students and also prospective faculty. A great resource to look at, especially for your website, is the 11 Ways to Design Inclusive Academic Websites. Um, it's full of practical ideas and many of the tips actually apply to all sorts of communications from websites to, to brochures or even to how to describe your courses in a more compelling way. And then finally, test the message. Uh, before investing time and money into communicating with your audience, redesigning a website, printing brochures, do some research to find out what's important to that audience. Check out the recruiting workbook for some more ideas about how to do this. The bottom line is, are these messages the messages you intended? If not, iterate. Check out the recruiting workbook for more tips for effective messaging, including some great templates that you can use uh, in planning your initiatives. Thank you. I hope this was helpful.